Okay, this is uh, June 2012, uh, Biology B1 Foundation paper, question 5. It's a question about thalidomide, a drug that was developed in the 1950s. In the 1950s, some pregnant women took thalidomide to prevent morning sickness during pregnancy. That's when women who are pregnant feel sick, particularly in the mornings. Today, it's not used to prevent morning sickness. Give one medical use of thalidomide today. Well, this question is all about uh, the, the problems with thalidomide, which caused some birth defects, particularly in the late 50s and early 60s. It was withdrawn from use now. Um, we don't use it anymore for this purpose. But it is still used. You've got to know this. If you don't know it, you won't get the answer. It can be used as a sleeping pill, or it can be used to prevent leprosy. So I'm going to put the second one down as a treatment for leprosy. Today, before a woman is given thalidomide, she is checked to see if she is pregnant and told to use two different methods of contraception at the same time. Give the reason why the woman is checked to see if she is pregnant, because if she were, her baby could be born with defects. That's what the problem with thalidomide was. It led to babies being born with defects, with uh, malformed limbs. The woman is told to use two different methods of contraception at the same time. Give the reason why. Well, if she's not pregnant when she starts taking the drug, it's really important she doesn't become pregnant. So the answer is to make sure she doesn't become pregnant. Okay, then we've got a whole set of information about types of contraceptive pills used by women. A combined pill, which has got two hormones in, taken for 21 days and then nothing for seven. That symbol means more than, so more than 99% effective, but increases your chance of headaches and breast cancer, but decreases your chance of cancer of the ovary. Or you've got the mini pill, just one hormone, it must be taken the same time every day, and it's less than 99% effective and increases your chance of breast cancer. So two different types of pills. Which two hormones does the combined pill contain? Again, you've got to know this one. It's not one that you could actually work out because uh, all of those are hormones involved in the reproductive cycle. And you've got to draw a ring around two answers. So if you're not sure, it's a guess. If you are sure, you'll know that it's these two. If you only know one of them, put the one that you do know and guess the second because you can't lose marks for guessing as long as you don't put more than two down it's the same principle as before give two advantages of taking the combined pill and not the mini pill so you've got to choose something that's good about the combined pill but not about the mini pill okay well looking down here this one is the one that springs to mind for me it's more than 99% effective but the mini pill is less than 99% effective so I'm going to put combined pill is more effective than mini pill at preventing pregnancy. When you ask to compare one thing with another, always try and get the word than in. So that's my first reason, and I've got to give two, look it's in bold. So try and get the word than in there. And the second one, an advantage of the combined pill. Um, okay, well, it tells me it decreases the chance of cancer of the ovary, so I'm going to put that one down. Decreases, oh, I'll put the combined pill. Decreases the chance of cancer of the ovary. I can't put the word than in, but I can put the word but in, but the mini pill doesn't. So I've made sure there that I've combined both of them. Another one that you could, um, uh, another one that you could have down is that the mini pill has to be taken the same time every day, the combined pill doesn't. So that's about the same time every day. Or you might choose to say, well, you only need to take this one for 21 days in the month, but that one you have to take every day. 
give one advantage of taking the mini pill and not the combined pills. That's something where the mini pill is better. Well, you could go for the fact that uh, the mini pill only contains uh, one hormone, um, or you could um, go for uh, the chance that there's less chance of headaches because the combined pill increases it, but the mini pill doesn't. That seems a good one to do to me. So, mini pill would have less chance of headaches than combined pill. Okay, and that's question five.